so, oh my goodness, I recorded this last night and uploaded it. And then when I watched it this afternoon, the quality was horrible. I think it has to do with the laptop. So I pulled the video and here I am doing it again. I know it's late and it's going to be late by the time it gets out, but I'm going to try and go through it as quickly as possible and show you guys how to use those fun filters in StreamYard. So now I am in OBS right now because OBS allows me to record and it provides the best quality. I have tried the recording feature in StreamYard, didn't care for it. It was not, I couldn't get any good quality out of it. And so the playbacks were always really fuzzy. I don't know what the difference is between the when you record or when you do a live because it still records it when you do a live, right? But um, the quality is usually better when you play back a live than it is when I would play back a recording. Anyway, so I'm in OBS. But you don't have to use OBS to be able to use these fun face filters in uh, StreamYard. So let me let me just set up. I'm going to say hi. <laughs> Lori here. Uh, welcome to my world. I'm really glad that you've come here. If you haven't, you should subscribe. I always forget to say this stuff because I just always want to dive right in. But I am super glad that you're here because I just love all of you so much. And I'm so thankful for you because you give me this. You you let me share this with you. And it uh, lets me get my, lets me play teacher. <laughs> Let's me get that out of my system. So anyway, I'm going to pause for a second and then uh, it'll be a blink of an eye for you and I'll be back and we'll be ready to move on. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I've gone ahead and done a display capture, even though on the initial screen, it's a little bit off-putting because it's me replicating the same screen over and over and over and over and over and over again. So, um, but anyway, this allows me to show you exactly what I'm doing on this monitor without having to come back here and remember to switch from one window to the other because y'all know I don't remember that stuff. So, <laughs> I am here. Let me get that out of the way. I am going to go ahead and pop here to my browser. And I'm going to do a search for snap camera. And it pops right up. There's even a download button that pops right up. I'm not going to download it because I've already done that. But this is how easy it is. You just click on download. Once it downloads, you will install it. I didn't see any special things that you need to like watch for while you're downloading it there were no there were no hidden um programs or anything in there when you when you installed it it just installed simply and easily and that was it and then it's there and then you have to open it so let me go ahead and open it and this is what it looks like it's um it's a cute little program it'll show you it does take for me it still takes a long time for it to open um when I when I'm restarting my computer after I've restarted my computer and I don't know if you can tell but sometimes it makes the words seem off and so you know it is what it is I don't know if it's my computer or what I did try to do this on my laptop last night and it was awful and and I knew I should have got a better laptop but I didn't and oh well it is what it is now. But anyway, so this is what it looks like. And then you have here at the top right corner, you have these settings. And you can go in and here's where you'll choose your camera. Usually there's only one, uh, but you might have another camera hooked up or something. Here's your camera resolution. I actually like to do mine. Oh, okay. Um, I'll go back to the other one for now. I'll come in here and reset this after when I'm not on here. But anyway, 
microphone settings, flip preview, optimize for green screen, uh, and there's some other stuff here as well. There's some guides. You can also come in here and create your own lens, which I haven't really gone in and played with that yet, but that could be fun. You also have some hotkeys that you can, you can set up uh, that will trigger things for you, and yeah. So then all you have to do is click on a filter to apply it. It sometimes takes a minute, um, but it will uh, eventually apply. And you can pretty easily click from filter to filter, and they just will change as you, as you click them, right? So now you can see that I've got some of these that have little yellow stars in it, that means I've added them to my favorites. And that's all you have to do is hover over that yellow star and click it. It'll add it to your favorites that you can access up here. Um, and let's see, oh, and so then you've got some that are sorted by category. Halloween is new, so let's take a look at that. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> I'm going to favorite that one for sure. <laughs> An elf. Oh, there you go. This one would be perfect for a lake fairy. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so there's a bunch of Halloween ones in here now, so that's kind of fun. To get out, you just click this X. We'll take you back to the main screen. Let me move that out of the way. Uh, and you've got a variety of different uh, categories. And then down here, you've just got um, filters and filters and filters and filters. And you can <laughs> swap them out quite easily. If you're using a green screen, well, you can, this actually, it's kind of weird because this is my green curtain, right? This kind of helps as it does most of them. If you use a green screen, it kind of just makes the whole face disappear. Um, I've tried it in here. So it could be the new settings with this different browser. Oh, no. See, yeah, it takes away my green screen on here, but let's take a look at it my OBS. See, it didn't, well, it did kind of, you know, you can see through, <laughs> if you look closely, you can see through the green there uh, to what's behind it in the background picture. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. But anyway, let's come back here to, oh, where's our snap camera? There it is. Okay. So let me, let me just pick a filter. Well, I'm going to, I'll just go into my favorites and pick this one with a mustache. <laughs> okay. And now we're going to see how to do it in StreamYard. So you're going to come to your StreamYard. And uh, if you, if you have not used StreamYard before, I do have a video in my Techie Tuesday list that goes through the basics of setting up uh, your StreamYard and getting started with that. So right now I just have this test recording ready and I'm just going to go ahead and pop into the studio oh and so this time it popped right up probably because I had used it before but this is where you set your your camera settings right so I can say stop camera start camera if it's you know and I can go in here and pick and you can see how here it automatically selected snap camera for me because my snap camera is running. Now, one thing that's important with the snap camera is that you want to start it running before you start any of the other programs that you're going to use it with. So you want to start your snap camera and then come to your StreamYard. Uh, I'm going to try just not going through my OBS on Tuesday, it's not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after when I go live for my Techie Tuesday, I'm just gonna turn on my snap camera and come in straight through here and and go live from here and see how that works. 
uh, without the OBS in between. The only thing that the OBS kind of adds is being able to have like a, a moving background back here. And then also I can bring up different pictures and and things like that up here. And anyway, I just enter the studio now that my camera's set up, add myself to the stream, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> And that, honestly, that's how easy it is to use face filters with StreamYard. Is you just turn the camera on, wait until it loads itself. Don't get impatient. Let it load itself and, and you know, get done with its glitchy catchiness. And, and then go to your StreamYard and start it. Or whatever it is that you're going to be using uh, to stream with, you can you can pick whatever you want to stream with, right? So whatever it is that you're going to stream with, just go to that and then you just select snap as your camera and da -da -da -da. <laughs> And then of course you can always pop over to your snap and change to whatever you want. And of course it's going to change on your <laughs> on your feed. So it's nice if you have two screens, you can move it from one to the other. Um, you can do whatever you want. There's a noodle face. <laughs> Here are just a few of the favorites that I just popped on here. To... Oh, clowns. This one's creepy. <laughs> this one's cool. This is my steampunk look. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that is how easy it is to use with your StreamYard. So thanks so much for coming and hanging out and watching this lesson with me. I appreciate it. Sorry it's so late. Like I said, I recorded it on a lousy computer yesterday, and it just was glitchy and funky and did not work very well. So this seems to be working much better. And I'm going to leave it like this and say thank you, thank you, thank you. Have a wonderful day. I will see you soon. Take care of yourself. Bye now.